Hello friends, I'm Pastor Joe. Today is Tuesday and I have your word for the day. How can you know for certain that God will provide all your needs? How can you know for certain that at the end of the month you'll have enough uh, income to pay all your outgoing expenses? Now, partly you can do that by setting up a budget and making sure that you tell your money what to do but the most important thing that you can do along with sticking to a budget is to practice the teaching of Jesus found in Matthew 6, 31 through 33. Jesus said in Matthew 6, 31 through 33, Therefore do not be anxious saying, What shall we eat or what shall we drink or what shall we wear? For the Gentiles seek after all these things and your heavenly Father knows that you need them all. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added to you. Before you establish a budget, before you stick to a budget, before you tell your money what to do, Jesus requires something of you first. If you want to make it through the month, if you want to be able to pay all your bills, seek his kingdom first. The very first thing you do every day should be to seek his kingdom and his righteousness first. So what does that look like? Well, every day we're faced with choices and opportunities to put our time and energy into temporary things that have no lasting spiritual value. Uh, there are only so many hours in a day. How many of those hours do we spend focusing on uh, uh, spiritual activities like meditating on God's word, prayer, or worship? And how much time do we give in one way or another to loving others and pointing them to Jesus? Now, I'm a dad of four daughters. Obviously, you and I have responsibilities regarding family and work and school and other obligations and activities that we have to do. But what we have to watch out for is allowing those other things which are important to cause us to neglect the things of the Spirit. And if I find that I'm too busy and neglect being consistently in God's word, prayer, fellowship, serving Jesus, then I'm not seeking first the kingdom. And I don't want to be that person. And I don't want you to be that person. Too many followers of Jesus are putting way too much of their time and energy toward the things that in the end really won't matter in the least. So take a look at your calendar Ask if your busy life reflects a life that is seeking God's kingdom first and then, if it doesn't, shift your calendar around to make first thing or make the first thing his first thing. If today's word for the day has blessed you, apply it, like it, or leave a comment. God bless.